This video produced by Ivor Medical demonstrates adult basic life support skills according to the latest 2010 European Resuscitation Council Cardiopulmonary Resuscitation Guidelines. Watch this video regularly with your friends and family to refresh your knowledge and skills. This video is not a substitute for a certificate CPR course and if you haven't already taken one, do so as soon as possible. Sudden cardiac arrest is the leading cause of death in many parts of the world, including Europe. It occurs when electrical impulses in the heart become rapid or chaotic, which causes the heart to suddenly stop beating. If cardiac arrest happens, CPR must be started immediately, since it can double or even triple the victim's chances of survival. It is important to know that cardiac arrest can happen anytime, anywhere and to anyone. In fact, a vast majority of these events happen at home, so you can easily find yourself in a situation where your actions are crucial for someone's survival. Many victims will show warning symptoms before cardiac arrest occurs. The most important warning symptom is chest pain. If a person experiences chest pain, call your local emergency number immediately. This results in a faster arrival of medical professionals and prevention of some cardiac arrests. Furthermore, if the arrest does happen, the professional help will be there sooner, which results in better survival rates. Adult BLS Algorithm The steps of BLS consist of a series of sequential assessments and actions, which are shown in the BLS Algorithm. These steps include checking the victim for a response, shouting for help, opening the airway, checking for breathing, calling the local emergency number, delivering 30 chest compressions followed by two rescue breaths, combining chest compressions with rescue breaths, checking the victim for a response. Before providing CPR, you need to be sure if the victim needs this type of help. If you see a victim suddenly collapse, or you arrive at a scene with a victim appearing to be unconscious, you need to check for a response. Before approaching the victim, assure that the scene is safe and there is no imminent danger to the victim or yourself. Check for hazards from electricity, gas, traffic and others. Kneel next to the victim, carefully shake his shoulder and ask loudly, Are you alright? If he responds, right? leave him as you found him, provided there is no further danger. Try to find out what is wrong and get help if needed. Reassess him regularly before help arrives. If he does not respond, shout for help. Shout loudly to attract attention without leaving the victim. If someone else is nearby, ask him to wait, because you may need his assistance. If the victim does not respond, you can assume he is unconscious, but you still do not know if he needs CPR. To further assess the victim, you need to check breathing, and before you check breathing, you need to open the airway. Opening the airway. When a person is unconscious, his tongue may fall back and block the airway. To open the airway, tilt the head back and lift the chin. This action draws the tongue forward away from the back of the throat. Turn the victim on his back. Place one hand on his forehead and gently tilt his head back. Lift the chin using two fingertips of your other hand under the point of the chin. These actions combined will open the airway and may alone allow a non-cardiac arrest victim to start breathing. Checking for breathing. Keeping the airway open, check whether the victim is breathing normally. Move closely and look for chest movement, listen for breath sounds, feel for breath on your cheek. Check breathing for no more than 10 seconds before you decide that the victim is not breathing normally. In the first few minutes after cardiac arrest, a victim may be barely breathing 
or taking frequent noisy gasps. This is called agonal breathing and should not be considered normal breathing. If agonal breathing is present, proceed as if the victim is not breathing at all. If the victim is breathing, you need to put him in the recovery position to maintain a free airway. Watch recovery position video to learn this procedure. Calling the local emergency number. If the victim is unresponsive and not breathing normally, you need to call the ambulance service if this has not been done already. If you are alone, use your mobile phone to call for an ambulance. Get an AED, Automatic External Defibrillator, as soon as possible if it is available. If someone is with you, send him to call for an ambulance and bring an AED. When calling for an ambulance, you should stay calm and clearly state your name, your telephone number, the location of the incident, that the victim is unresponsive and not breathing, and you are initiating CPR. Do not hang up the phone until the dispatcher tells you to. Delivering chest compressions. Deliver 30 chest compressions at the rate of 100 per minute, depressing the breastbone of an adult victim 5 cm. After each compression, release the pressure completely, allowing the chest to recoil. Kneel by the side of the victim. Place the heel of one hand in the center of the victim's chest. Place the heel of your other hand on top of the first and interlock your fingers. With your elbows straight, bring your shoulders up until they are directly over the victim's chest. Depress the breastbone with the weight of your body. Press down at least 5 cm. After each compression, completely release the pressure on the chest without losing contact. Repeat at the rate of at least 100 times a minute. Combining rescue breaths with chest compression. If you are unwilling or untrained to deliver rescue breaths, you can continue to deliver chest compressions without interruptions. So-called compressions-only CPR is better than no CPR at all. However, if you are trained to deliver rescue breaths, know that this is the method of choice for both trained lay rescuers and professionals. After 30 compressions, open the airway again using head tilt and chin lift. Pinch the soft part of the nose closed, using the index finger and the thumb of your hand at the forehead. Allow the mouth to open by maintaining chin lift. Take a normal breath and place your lips around his mouth, making sure you have a good seal. Blow steadily, watching for the chest rise, taking about one second. Maintaining head tilt and chin lift, take your mouth away from the victim and watch for the chest to fall. Take another normal breath and blow once more. The two breaths should not take more than 5 seconds in all. Then continue delivering chest compressions without any delay. Continue with chest compressions and rescue breaths in a ratio of 30 to 2. Do not interrupt resuscitation until professional help arrives or the victim starts to wake up, to move, open eyes and to breathe normally.